you want to live a life that other people are saying, oh my gosh, you're so lucky. You want the life and the career that you love. Well, here is one rule, one action that is really, really going to help you move the needle forward to your dream and goal. Actually, it's going to help you achieve it. Instead of looking at others thinking, oh, they're so lucky and I'm not. Stop that right now. Take action right after watching this video. Watch till the end because there's more there at the end for you. But let's dive into this action. This action that I, I get it because I used to be like, oh, you know, I want this and I want that. And I was looking at others having this online business and making money online. And I was like, ah, oh, stuck in a corporate job and thinking, that's not for me. I will never get there. Right. And if that's you, then this is really, really, really going to help you. By the way, if you don't know me, I'm Rachel Smets. And yes, I have quit my corporate job a few years ago to do what I love, to travel the world, to help other people make a plan to escape and turn their passion into income. But this one thing is something you can do right now. OK, so. And I want you to I want you to comment below if this action is really helping you, because this rule is going to help you just like it helped me. And it took me a while to figure it out, but this is it. And it's going to help you. Just make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos and hit that like button so that YouTube knows that there's more people who need to watch these videos every single Wednesday. I'm here to inspire and motivate you. So most people, and I was one of them, I had this big goal and dream, you know, traveling the world. And it's just like you're, you're standing at the, at, at the bottom and looking at the top of the Mount Everest. Okay. Just use this analogy. Okay. Just imagine you're looking at the top of the Mount Everest. Okay. The top of any big, huge mountain. And you're like, I'll never get there. I mean, seriously, I mean, I'm not a mountain climber at all, but getting to the top of a mountain, like no way. Right. However, there is this rule called the proximity rule. Okay, it's not new. I heard it last from Ken Coleman who repeated it and reminded me of it. But that's what it's called. It's a proximity rule. So what can you do to get to that top? Because right now you're standing at the bottom of the Mount Everest. You're standing here thinking about a big dream or a big goal. Okay, have that in mind. And you're thinking, I'm stuck. I, there's no way I can get there because the gap between where you are right now and where you want to be is so big. It's so scary. It's like looking at the top of the mountain. It's scary. It's dangerous. What if I, and there's all these fears, like what if I fail, right? The fear of failure, the fear of the unknown, the fear of what is going to happen, the fear of the fear of even other people looking at you or the people thinking or having thoughts about you, this, all these fears which are so, so common and so, so normal. Okay. So what can you do? And what is this rule of proximity? It is, and I will explain it. People plus places equals opportunities. Now, what does this mean? Find the people who already have climbed, climbed that mountain, right? So find people who are doing what you are doing and start connecting with them. So people plus places of, uh, equals opportunities. What does that mean? You want to start talking to people who are doing what you do. Okay. And, and talk to them and ask them questions and go where they are. You right. And learn from them and start taking steps and connect. And I promise you opportunities will come. In practice, let me give you some examples. What does that mean? I'm thinking back a few years ago. I really, really wanted to write books. Okay, that was my first step into the, you know, growing my own online business. I thought, okay, I, I want to write books. I had no idea, no idea what to do. What do I do? The first thing I started looking for people who have written books. I started looking for authors, right? So long story short, you start, I started looking for authors. I connected with them. I asked them questions. What is the first thing you do? What is your advice? What are your suggestions? What should I do? I started taking steps. I learned from them. 
I started, you know, writing my outline. I started writing chapters. I just, I, and then came the editor and the publishing and all of that. But all of this time I was connecting with other authors. Those are the people in those places, in those author groups and Facebook groups and LinkedIn. And just, I connected and those people connected me to other people. And there's the connection. And from all of those connections and, and showing up and taking actions, opportunities will come because now I'm co-authoring many other books because opportunities happen. Another example. I really wanted to do TEDx talks, okay? No clue, no public speak speaking experience at all, okay? But I started talking to other TEDx speakers, right? What did you do? What's your suggestion? Where should I go, right? I started studying, doing my research, connecting to more people. And suddenly, you know, through those connections, an opportunity came and there was a spot open for a TEDx talk. And that was my first one. And I did two in the end, right? So um, YouTube. When I connected to other YouTube, like, hey, how did you start? You know, where should I go? Oh, maybe you should try this program. That You just start connecting to other, you know, other people. You, you get to other places and opportunities come, right? So climbing the top of a mountain means break it down into hills. There are stages, there are climbs, but climbing a hill, climbing a small hill, it's not scary. Talking to that one person who is doing what you want, it's not scary. And that's what I do with all my clients. It's finding that next step. Everything of what I do is please, like the one thing I hate, it's overwhelm, right? So what I do with my clients is avoid all overwhelm, break it down, break that mountain down into hills. And what is your next step? Get clarity on your next step. That is everything that I do always. Like every client that is working with me, it's clear action steps, things that are doable. Not like, I can't do that. Oh, they're so lucky and I can't get there. And oh, and, and this, and look at all, all over the place, but not, not taking action. And if you're not moving the needle, nothing will happen, right? Right? So what is the next step that you can do? Think about what is it that you want to do what is your goal? What is your dream? Find one person, one person. That's not scary. Find one person who's doing that. And it could be a mentor. It could be a coach. It could be someone who's doing the career that you love or another author, or, you know, it could be anybody. You can talk to me if you, you know, but find one person and start connecting and take action. That is your first action. Stop trying to reinvent the wheel. I was stuck for a long time because I thought, oh, I need, I, need, you know, I need to get money online and I need to do this. And I, and I tried all these different things and nothing worked until I hired a coach, until I started talking to other people. Instead, you know, I, I had the right people in the right places and opportunities came. And that is what I want for you. If you still feel stuck, I have a free video training about getting unstuck right down in the description or if you want to talk to me to, to create that escape plan and finding, you know, and turning your passion into income, you can talk to me as well, right? So that is your action. Please, please comment below. What is your one next action? What is that dream? Who will you talk to? Or maybe you have that done that, okay? That is your action. I want you to do that. Comment below, make sure you look at the description and I'm here to help you and oh, Make sure to subscribe, hit those like buttons, and I'll see you again next Wednesday.